it was a three dart combination as it turned out but you can see the pain on Wade's face he was hoping for once that he'd be given an opportunity and that's been Taylor's strength in these last 20 minutes 25 minutes or so as well of course as getting down to the double in the first place by whatever means a wonderful all-round game we often talk about his firing at the treble 20 like this but his all-round game in the last 25 minutes has been on display as well yeah james has matched him on the uh, maximums five Matched him on the 2017 still has ahead by seven on the 100 pluses but the all-around accuracy that john has so accurately said comes from hours and hours and hours of practice he's showing you what taylor has made of pure crystal tungsten Yes, if people say, if I practice as much as Taylor, will I be as good? I always say to them, well, he was good to start with before he even started practicing. It's just that practice does make perfect, and he's as perfect or near perfect a player as we've ever seen, of course. When he was only 17, he could be 97 averages, almost without trying, could Taylor. That's forgotten sometimes. The practice just made it more likely that he'll be there on big occasions like this John now, that's where it makes it a bit awkward doesn't it just above the treble but and there's a little bit of hope here for Wade if Taylor and he was inevitably gonna pick one of them off wasn't he but it's not a bad effort this by Wade it's his throw needs a score here last thing he wanted was that of course Good recovery. Another one of those now, James Wade. Yes. Taylor's left a bogey number. But I bet he's down to a single dart now. So there will be massive pressure on this. James Wade coming to the hockey to save the match. Taylor hitting 104. Getting almost the next rubble. But he will get that one to save the match. The star of the week, the 23 year old from Aldershot, has to get. Two 14s. Has to get two sevens. 81. I think nerves took over there, Sid, really don't you? 28. I think so. Taylor then set himself up for the match. 28. And I remember saying he won the UK Open with double 14. And uh, there and it is. A double 14 it. means that Taylor for the eighth time in his wonderful career is the world match play champion a brilliant brilliant darts way went up like a train in the first session 4-1 did everything that he had to do early doors and then taylor started hitting everything in sight Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome your presentation party on stage, the Chief Executive Officer of the BDC, Mr Tim Darby, and Mr Steve Fisher, the Managing Director of Stan James. Welcome, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, in a final of rare quality, it's a cliche that there has to be a runner-up, but he has had a fantastic week. Please salute the champion in the making, the runner-up of the Stan James World Match Play, Mr. James Wade. But, ladies and gentlemen, for the eighth time. I have made this announcement on stage. Your Stan James World Match Play Darts Champion, the incomparable Mr. Phil Taylor!
Phil, Phil, congratulations. An amazing performance. Thank you. Um, when James first came out, I honestly thought when he got in front of me with the darts, I was struggling to get the darts back. I couldn't, um, I couldn't see a weakness in him. I think one thing James has got to learn this week, he doesn't have to talk about his darts, or we don't have to talk about James Wade. His darts do the talking for him. That's... What a player. What a star. Let's have a word with you, James. Come in. You're never, ever going to forget this week, are you? No, 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 not at all, not at all. One of many more, I hope. One of many more. You've proved you've really come of age this week. What's it, what's it been like for you? Oh, it's been absolutely brilliant, and to get to play the world's best. Well, you can't say no more, can you? I think the occasion got to me today, but I'll be ready for it next time. Well, James, you've won a lot of fans. James Wade, the runner-up, real star. You've had, you've had some uh, disappointing results in Bolton and Vegas. Last year, it was Colin Lloyd that won this trophy. What's it feel like to be the eight-time World Match Play champion? You know, Dave, it felt like the first time tonight. It was, uh, I think this tournament is getting better, bigger. It, it's, the, the game of darts now at the moment is not just massive. I think it's absolutely humongous. I think it's going to get bigger and bigger. But to win this, we're in this venue is, is just unbelievable, honestly. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, people, you know, they, 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 they shout, they ball, they cheer, they whistle, they clap. You know, they paid their money all, all week. And why not? Do you know what I mean? I, I think if I was standing out there, I think I'd have a little cheer as well. Well done, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Taylor, the Stan James World Match Play Champion of 2006. And Taylor has got his trophy back. Good night.